What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com. Welcome to this YouTube live series where we're going to talk all about ASO, but some of the foundation ASO and also some of the advanced strategies to help you grow your downloads, whether you're a beginning app, and that's what this part is going to be, and then all the way into part three where your million dollar app, how should you be considering ASO? And today, joining me for this YouTube series, we've got David Margrion, head of ASO at a fantastic ASO platform that you got to check out. It is checkaso.io, checkaso.io. But David, welcome back, my friend. Hi, Steve. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you, everyone who is watching us. So I think we can discuss something interesting today about ASO. So maybe you have some questions for me. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly do. Well, this series is all about how to jumpstart your app with ASO. So David, talk to me about maybe like, what are the most important things when it comes to ASO when you're just like a brand new app trying to just jumpstart your downloads? Well, first of all, of course, it's, the, it's related to keywords uh, because everyone knows that keywords are the foundation of ASO. And you may want to approach this stage uh, very carefully. Uh, why? Because um, according to the Apple App, App Store, 65% uh, of apps are installed from the store search results. And during the COVID pandemic, this number increased uh, to 70%. Wow. And uh, to install an app, uh, people need to find it, first of all. And that's why working with a semantic core is such an important stage. And um, keywords make uh, the app visible to store stores algorithms, first of all. And they do the same for users, of course. And uh, finding and collecting as many keywords as possible is uh, the primary goal to achieve. And then you may want to assess them according to a number of parameters and prioritize them for different ASO iterations. Yeah. The one thing I wanted to talk to you about was, all right, we have this keyword research. We can use check ASO. We can see some of the recommended keywords, but which one should we focus on? And let's assume the audience knows that, okay, the title, the subtitle, and then the title of the short description on Google play are going to be the most in terms of heavy weight, you know, that, that you want your primary keywords, but what kind of keywords should, should we go, should we go, should we be going after the high competition, high traffic keywords, or should we be going after maybe the mid traffic keywords, but lower competition? So, well, it depends on your app. First of all, uh, if you have a new app, you should go for a low competition keywords. If you have a strong app, you should go to high competition keywords, but uh, I will talk about that a little bit later. Um, I, I want to say some more words about how to collect the keywords, uh, the ways you can collect your keywords, find new keywords, collect the semantic core. And uh, uh, first thing that comes to mind of um, every ASO manager is brainstorming and brainstorming. And it's the easiest uh, and most traditional way to do that to collect semantic core. And uh, you should figure out um, what queries people would use to search for your app. Uh, and to do this, um, you should at least um, have an understanding of what your app is about and what problems uh, it could solve and who the potential users are. And brainstorming becomes become common uh, when analytic services uh, were not yet well developed and based on my experience i can say that you can skip this this step because uh, analytic services have a huge amount of data uh, on keywords and now and you often can use them to find all the relevant keywords but please keep in mind that uh, analytic platforms um, do not entirely solve all your problems of collecting semantic core i mean that um, there are tools that you can use to work easier, to find keywords easier, but um, still you will have to analyze uh, the data yourself and the services only provide the tools uh, to do it faster and more efficiently for you. And before you, you start collecting semantic core, you may want to get an 
understanding of who your competitors are because competitors analysis is the first stage in every ASO strategy. How they are promoting, what um, their highest priority traffic sources is, uh, maybe search traffic or explore traffic or maybe paid traffic. And let's say that uh, most of the traffic may be related to brand keywords and paid promotions for some categories. This means that it um, may be challenging to rank in the top without any budget, only with uh, text optimization. Um, and that is you, uh, you should keep in mind that different ASO strategies work with different types of traffic. Uh, however, increasing search visibility with text ASO is a must for, for any, any strategy, I think. Um, first of all, you need to analyze your, your current indexation to find out by uh, what search queries, what keywords uh, your app has already been indexed and you can often be indexed by uh, different relevant keywords but never find out. Um, this way, um, you are missing, missing out at queries that uh, could potentially bring you traffic and you should find those keywords to use them in your metadata and track, uh, and track uh, their metrics uh, on the everyday basis. And um, you, can, you can do it, of course, with uh, Chickaso, with our tool, uh, mm -hmm. with using our explore tool, um, because it will show you uh, by which keywords you are indexed by. And we have um, another way list to the explore section. It's uh, searching for suggested keywords. And if you are knowing, if you know a relevant keyword, uh, you can find suggested ones uh, that are similar keywords uh, the store offers. When you uh, starting to write something in the search bar of store, you can see the uh, keyword suggestions in, in Apple App Store and Google, Google Play. And this matter should be um, used at, at last resort uh, when you have collected uh, the maximum number of keywords from all um, other sources. And this way uh, you can make uh, the original, um, the original keyboard, keyboard pool uh, a little bit larger. And as for me, the main and the most effective way um, of collecting semantic core is the analysis of your competitor's data. Because uh, as a rule, um, the store uh, already has uh, competitors that are quite relevant to your app or game and you need to find them, just, just find them by relevant keywords. Even if your app is uh, nearly launched and poor, poorly indexed, it is still worth paying attention to popular apps to analyze their indexation. They often are indexed by a um, huge amount of uh, keywords, both popular and uncommon. And if you find it challenging maybe to, to select competitors on your own and or you want to avoid spending time on this, uh, you can uh, find it easy in any analytic platform and especially in Check ASO, we will show you up to 20 competitors for your app based on the intersection of your keywords and your competitor's semantic core. And uh, besides it, um, it helps to understand who are sharing traffic with you and to do this, you can keep track um, of keywords intersection. Our yeah. intersection tool uh, can help you uh, with that. And you can find out uh, with which one your competitors, you have the most keyword matches, um, including those from other countries and from other cat categories. And it's very important to, to find this data and you can uh, you can find a lot of interesting and relevant keywords from your uh, competitors. Mm. Is it better to have? Is it better to have a higher intersection with some of your competitors? Is it better to have a low intersection? Like, let's say it's a big competitor. I'm a meditation app. I'm going after Calm, and I have a high intersection with them. Does that mean that I'm just not going to be able to compete with them? No, it it doesn't mean that it's better or worse. May it that means that. Uh, if you have a big intersection with some of your competitors, that means that it's your nearest competitors and you share the traffic, uh, your organic traffic with this competitor because you are indexed by the same keywords. And that's why 
you should uh, compete with them first of all and and don't, and don't go to the to the main competitors in your category maybe i see David, the other thing I want to talk to you about, you you talked about this, and I think Check ASO does a great job of really showing competitor analysis and seeing what your competitors are ranking for. But when you're seeing, when you're trying to figure out the split, is it are your competitors doing more organic traffic, paid traffic? Do you have any favorite tools that you like to use for that? Uh, so uh, there are a lot of methods and a lot of analytic tools, but of course we use Check ASO and we developed it uh, with. Uh, with our knowledge, with the use of our knowledge, our background, and we developed a lot of tools uh, which you can use to find the keywords that use your competitors, uh, the keywords uh, that are branded, uh, the keywords that are relevant for you, that are high frequency, low frequency, any types of mm -hmm. keywords you can find using tools. Uh, well, David, do you guys report on like organic versus paid? how much of that downloads is organic. Do you guys show that? Cause I know you guys are great when it comes to ASO and the keyword stuff, but when we're trying to find our competitors overall marketing mix, do you have any Intel on that? Uh, no, we don't have uh, such a tool nowadays, um, but uh, we are working on them. And I hope in the future we can show you uh, the part of organic traffic and the part of paid traffic of your competitors. But now, Unfortunately, we don't have uh, these uh, feature on our platform. Do you have a Do you have a favorite tool that you like to use to take that to look at so those analysis? I don't believe um, in such tools because uh, mm. sometimes they give uh, not correct information. I I prefer to analyze uh, different campaigns. For example, if I uh, see the camp competitors, I will go to analyze. It's Facebook campaigns. Uh, I can see how much Facebook campaigns he runs uh, and um, any different types of uh, ad campaigns from YouTube, Google, Google Ads, and et cetera. And uh, this way we can collect the data and make uh, an understanding of how much, uh, um, how much ad traffic uh, our competitors can attract from different sources. Maybe you can uh, you can use um, a penny sensor tower. I think they will show a uh, pretty clear uh, data, but it's better to prove it yourself. I think yeah. first of all, yeah, and so it's always hard to rely on these tools. You never know where you're there getting the sources as well. the The last thing I want to really talk about is how do you feel about using paid marketing? Is it essential as a new app to get kickstart your ASO as well? Well, um, I think that. Everybody should use the paid marketing from the very start uh, because um, as far as you know, uh, ranking and indexing can be influenced, influenced not only by uh, the text metadata, not only by ASO, but also by many other factors like the total number of installs that comes from all channels, not only organic ones, and but also from at channels and store algorithms uh, are designed in such a way uh, that they um, they take this data into account when ranking apps. And the more insults you get uh, from all the channels, the higher your chance to rank to rank higher. <laughs> so uh, external at at traffic can help you at the very start and speed up the processes, of course. And in cases uh, like when an app is in a very competitive niche or vice versa, in a rather narrow focused one, it's, uh, it's a necessity. And thanks to it, uh, your app can be indexed by keywords faster. And especially when it comes to Google Play market, uh, external traffic uh, like an SO is one of the I think one of the most uh, important elements of, of the whole marketing strategy. And when combined both, uh, both of them, you can have a much better effect. And um, aside from uh, stimulating organic traffic, external traffic helps to solve, uh, uh, I think, product related tasks, for example, um, by occurring traffic at launch. Uh, you can test uh, app performance, onboarding, 
retention, monetization, okay. and other important parameters. And uh, don't forget to look at user reviews because they will indicate what your audience might not like and what needs to be improved maybe. And it's much better to understand and correct errors at the very start uh, in order to continue to scale confidently. External traffic can also be divided in, in two types, a paid one and free one, because uh, hmm. and both of them will work well. Paid traffic includes any, any paid sources like Google, Universal App Campaigns, Apple Search Ads, Facebook, Instagram Ads, uh, etc. And I think um, the most developers often have a little experience in user acquisition, in paid user acquisition. And in this case, I can, I can say that it's better to contact experts who will save your time or take training, training courses maybe, or read articles on how to set up, conduct, and optimize your ad campaigns. And if we talk about free traffic, uh, not not ad traffic, but free uh, is um, it is much harder to get it, but you can uh, you can save a lot of money by by spending time. First of all, uh, studies from various themed resources, social media, Reddit, TikTok, Product Hunt, and much more. And uh, cre creativity is. Um, important here first of all uh, since the improvement may not come soon and you will spend a lot of time before you can get your first install installs from uh these uh, these sources the question i get naturally asked after that is how much budget should i allocate to paid marketing campaigns in the very start do you have any thoughts on that no i can't answer this question because it's um <laughs> It can be five dollars. It can be one million dollars. It depends on what you want to get, how much installs. You can just take a look uh, at uh, the average uh, cost of install in your country, and uh, and you can and you know how much installs you you want to get. So that's why you can count and <laughs> see how much budget you need at the start. All right, guys, that's it. Join us for part two. When we talk all about keyword prioritization and should you be using your competitors keywords in your ASO, all that in part two, join us next week.